There was a town here once. In March, the tsunami came and destroyed it. Now, excavators and trucks are taking everything away. Rikuzen Takata has been wiped off the map. There are occasional signs of life. Amid the twisted piles of wreckage, one enterprising shopkeeper is back in business from a makeshift hut. The electricity substation is being repaired. This was Rikuzen Takata immediately after the tsunami. Over 2,000 of its 23,000 residents perished on March the 11th. The incalculable tons of wreckage are being collected, crushed and recycled or disposed. But it is not clear exactly what, if anything, will take its place. Orikawa Yukichi has watched the town he grew up in reduced to twisted metal and splintered wood. We are so busy trying to tidy up all this wreckage. There are mountains and mountains of debris and garbage. All we're doing these days is tidying up. Here in Japan's northern Iwate prefecture, the tsunami was funneled up narrow coastal valleys, amplifying its destructive power. In some places, the water reached more than nine and a half kilometers inland. This was the fishing town of Ofunato back in March. It appeared the industrial heart had been ripped from towns like this and taken out to sea. Local residents wondered whether their towns had any future at all. But some residents are fighting back. Thanks in part to help from overseas charities, Ofunato's fish market has reopened. The first boatloads of silver salmon were auctioned earlier this month. Captain Abe is about to put out to sea from the port. His boat, the Hanasaki Maru, was badly damaged by the tsunami. The engine room got a hole in it, so I took it to Shikoku. It cost about $6,500 to fix. Now the Hanasaki Maru is again seaworthy. Abe and his crew are preparing for a month out at sea. It's so good to start fishing again. I'm a fisherman at heart, so it's great to be on the boat again. But after I catch the fish, there is no place to unload along this coast. There are no facilities like ice stores, so we unload the fish in Hokkaido. It will take many years for these remote communities to rebuild. Fishermen like Captain Abe believe their town's only economic hope lies in once more embracing the ocean that brought it so much destruction. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, Ofunato, Japan.